This week on WorldStream, the Wall Street Journal's mobile video reporting platform. Matt Bradley was in Gaza as mourners held multiple funerals for Palestinians killed in Israeli strikes. Refugees flocked to a school converted to a shelter by the UN, and an Israeli missile exploded across the street from journalists' hotel. This is a crater that we believe was left by a missile from an F-16 flying overhead. As you can see, covered all the cars nearby with dust. And just across the street there is my hotel, the Beach Hotel. Chris Marr reported from Raleigh, North Carolina, where one of the largest ever auctions of coal mining equipment was taking place, a sign of the difficulties facing the U.S. coal industry. Jackie Bischoff took us to Staten Island, where two teenagers are trying to salvage their neighbors' photos and mementos washed away by Superstorm Sandy. Yori Ko was in Myanmar, where a decrepit power plant is in line for a major overhaul as Japanese firms look to re-establish themselves in the country's infrastructure projects. In the Catalonia region of Spain, Jonathan House reported on pro-independence sentiment there as the region prepares for a major election. And WSJ reporters captured some frantic shopping as Black Friday sales kicked off around the country. Visit WSJ.com slash WorldStream every day to see reporter shop video from around the world.